Baby Jones and a Little Monkey Business, Chapter 9, Pigs and Ducks and Stuff. Principal went into room 9 with me, and then he clapped his giant hands together. Boys and girls, may I please have your attention, he said. I would like to explain what happened during show and tell today. It's about Junie B. Jones and her new baby brother. Just then, that Jim I hate jumped right up out of his chair. He's not a monkey, is he? He shouted very loud. I knew it. I knew he wasn't a monkey. I made a big fest at him. How would you like this up your nose, you big dumb Jim? I hollered. Then Principal frowned at me, and so I smiled. I hate that guy, I said nicely. After that, Principal took a big breath. Boys and girls, there's a good reason why Judy B. told you that her baby brother was a monkey, he said. Yeah, it was all my grandmother Miller's fault, I interrupted, because she told me that my brother was a little monkey. Only she didn't mean he was a real little monkey. She just meant that he was cute. Only who the heck knew that dumb thing? Principal made another frown at me. Then he talked some more. You see, boys and girls, he said, sometimes adults say things that can be very confusing to children. Like, what if you heard me talking about a lucky duck? You might think I was talking about a real life duck, but lucky duck just means a lucky person. Right, said Mrs. And when we call someone a busy bee, we don't mean he's a real bee. We just mean he's a hard worker. Hey, I just thought of another one, I said very excited. A dumb bunny isn't a real alive bunny either. It's just a plain old dumb guy. Then my friend the seal raised her hand. I've got one too, she said. Sometimes my Nana calls my daddy a couch potato. Only he's not a real potato. He's just a lazy bum. Yeah, and I'm not a big pig, said my new boyfriend, Ricardo. But my mom says I eat like one. After that, a whole bunch of other kids say they eat like big pigs too. Only a boy named Donald said he eats like a horse. And crybaby William eats like a bird. Just then, it was time for the bell to ring. And so me and Principal said bye-bye to each other, and I went to my seat. Then I gave the seal back her red chair. She was very nice to me. I'm sorry that your brother isn't a real monkey, Junie B, she said. Thank you, Lucille, I said. I'm sorry that your daddy isn't a real potato, too. After that, the bell rang for us to go home. And so me and Lucille and that Grace held hands, and we walked outside together. Only then, a very wonderful thing happened, and it's called... I heard my mother's voice. Junie B, Junie B, over here, honey. Daddy and I are over here. Then I looked in the parking lot and I saw her. And so I run to her speedy quick. And then me and my mother hugged and hugged because I hadn't seen her for a very whole day. Then my daddy got out of the car and he had a little yellow blanket in his arms. And guess what that, what was in that thing? My new baby brother, that's why. He was very teeny and pinkish, except his head had a lot of black hair on it. I touched it. It felt like fuzzy. Just then, Ricardo walked by and he saw my teeny brother. Cool hair, he said. I smelled very big. I know it, Ricardo, I said. And guess what else? He doesn't even smell like P.U. After that, I got in the car and I told Mother about Lucille's locket and she said maybe I could get a locket too and I could put my brother's teeny head in there. Yes, and I would also like some pink high tops, please, I said very polite. Maybe, said Mother. Oh boy, I said. 
because maybe doesn't mean no, that's why. And so then I lifted up the blanket and I peeped at my baby brother one more time. So what do you think of him, Junie B? said mother. I smiled very big. I think he's the cutest little monkey I ever saw, I said. Then mother laughed and I laughed too. The end. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what books you'd like for me to read next. Thank you for listening.